now that you are here with me, baby, let's do right. Baby, you know just what I mean. I want to hold you all the time. Baby, just touch me anywhere. Could you turn me on? I love to rub my fingers through your hair. But come on and stay with me all right. I want to ride with you, baby, all night long. I want to roll with you, baby. I feel so strong, baby, all night long. Rock and roll, roll and rock makes me love. Won't you never stop, baby? Hey, y'all. Good morning. Good afternoon. Shout out to Bobby Brown this morning. Wherever you are, brother. Hope all is going well in your world. Listen. You know, I'm going to give y'all this conversation. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. To you, my illustrious family, thank you for joining me. Uh, welcome to this crazy house. Um, and I'd like to in, uh, encourage each and every one of you to continue to subscribe and uh, like the video. It, it does really well for the algorithms. I appreciate you joining me today. Today I want to talk about, um, you know, those of us that worked for the city and the county where we dealt with uh, this whole Jeffrey Dahmer situation because, you know, it pops out on you and you think certain things you've healed from and then something just reawakens that giant in you where you go, what the hell did I really live through? What the? I can't swear. Okay, y'all already know, but what in Sam's tarnation was that really all about? You know what I'm saying? And um, there's a lot of us. Uh, y'all remember from, uh, I was talking with my friend Tommy. And y'all, good morning. Shout out to you too today, Tommy. Where we talked about um, just how insubordinate the city of Milwaukee cops were during that time. And... The reason why this comes back up is because I was thinking of, I was talking to a few people and the whole conversation became all over again. It wasn't, it wasn't just only that Jeffrey Dahmer did what he did, but before we found out that he did what he did, what compounds the situation make matters worse is nobody was listening to anybody when they were telling them that their loved ones was missing. And that them not returning home or them not calling home uh, was totally out of their character. See, and I think that's one of the most frustrating things um, to have to encounter. And this is, you know, and I don't want to really disparage the Milwaukee Police Department, but I got to. Okay, because and this doesn't probably just limit itself to Milwaukee's police department. It's a lot of police departments that are racist and it, by their very nature. And so when a black or a brown person or a poor person, let me get that straight, because I often reiterate that there was two white women that called the police on the police for them beating the hell out of Frank Jew. And for those of y'all who don't know that Frank Jew case, y'all need to check it out. Because it was one of the, if you ask me, it was just as crazy as Jeffrey Dahmer. Because it was these same police officers that were drunk and did what they did to a man. Who in their right mind would stick ink pens in a human being's ears and stick knives up their rectum? Who? Who? And why do 
it seems like every time you get male Caucasians in the mix, and I don't mean, and I'm just going to say it like it is, okay? I'm going to say it like it is. The, the stuff get real freaky. It get, you know, it get real crazy. So if you want to call say I'm calling the race card, then you so be it. White men got a, 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 a just like some sick fetish of doing crazy shit that nobody is even thinking about sexually. And, you know, and I want y'all to check yourselves with that. Just like black people could do some crazy shit that probably ain't nobody doing but black folk. Y'all need to check yourself. Because I've seen and I've heard of police officers that were uh, black and they've done some egregious things to black people. But to just pull people pants down and stick plungers up their butt like they did Amadou Diallo or taking ink pens and plunging them in their ears and sit there and somebody coming to you telling you there's a killer after me and you make it like it's a damn joke. Oh, oh what are you doing? Playing with your boyfriend, huh? Oh, is that why you got the handcuff hanging off your arm? Poor Tracy. Poor freaking fracking Tracy. To come, you already have been in the worst situation of your damn life. And whoever the brother is, uh, I mean the, um, I'm sorry, the content creator is that uh, wanted me to come on and talk about this on his platform. Uh, I, I welcome it. Only if, um, you know, if it's an honest dialogue. Uh, but you know, I, when you think of it, when you put yourself in the shoes of these people and how the police handle these kind of situations is really frustrating. They're having the same problem right now. I believe it's in, what is it, Georgia somewhere or somewhere, Connecticut, where the people were telling us, listen, we got a, a white guy that's constantly up and down here and he's always talking to these black women and he's like, oh yeah, 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 okay, shut up, yeah, all right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then the guy ends up being a serial killer. That's what's going on right now. The black woman escaped. He had her tied up in the basement. Now, I'm not saying that black people don't do these behaviors because we've learned very well from the master. Very, very well. But some of this stuff we never, never used to participate in. That's why when you always look at the phenotype of a serial killer, it's always a white guy. Okay, it was never black guys. We do one-on-one -on -one stuff. We stab you. You know, we shoot you. You know, that's how we get down. But all this sticking stuff and objects up your butt and it's plungers up, we don't do things like that. So when a black person is running to you telling you, oh, it's some freaky stuff and it's a man going, and for y'all to make fun of them, that in itself is an insult. So when you think about Rita Isbell and when you think about, uh, you know, Elliot or you think about the Hughes family or you think about everybody that kept calling and saying that my family member is missing. This is not their behavior. It's not their character. Something is wrong. My son is deaf. You know, he 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 don't do this. We're very tight knit family. It's almost as if y'all don't think that black people can have tight knit families. I had to do a victim impact letter the other day concerning my brother, and um, you know. I hope I represented him the way we love him. And we love our family members too. And when they're missing, it ain't like they always just run the streets and do uh, the thoroughfarious things that we don't know where they're at. These people are loved. And because they do some a wrong act or uh, act that costs them that life don't mean necessarily that they were bad people. I mean, what's wrong with you? What's, what is wrong with humanity? Everybody make mistakes, you know, and everybody do stuff that's just not perfect. 
But to sit back and dismiss a whole group of people because of what you think their financial um, status is or, well, if you wouldn't live over here, why don't you move? And then you go, well, why don't you, you want me to move next door to you or why don't you give me the money to move? Then it's always, what? Are you crazy? Okay, people do and be in search with situations and circumstances that they can afford or, or if they can't do no better, that's where they at. That's why I said I thought Jeffrey Dahmer's actions were totally opportunistic. You know, first of all, he knew he couldn't stay out there in West Alice with all that uh, of them bodies stinking like that. You see, his grandmama put him out. She told him he got to go. He's stinking. And what do you think if, you know, these are homeowners and they whole neighborhood smell like dead rats. You know, somebody would have had their house turned uh, upside down to find out where the origin of that smell is coming from. But when you put yourself down in an environment or a neighborhood where people don't really care because they have more pressing issues like, how can I pay the rent this month? How can I put food in my baby's belly? Sometimes it just don't seem as important if I done called the city twice and they ever came out about this damn smell. You know, I, I'm just going to take it until I can't do it. I'm just going to save my coins and I'm going to get out of here. Because that's one less stress. I can't take it. I just know it stinks over here. And I keep calling the city and they keep coming out here, but ain't nothing being done. And so when you think about the families, I really do believe and I really pray that Netflix begin to compensate these families for what happened. Y'all have made all this money. And these people are so crazy, now they're making more money because they want to do costumes of Jeff. It's crazy ass. So Y'all at Netflix then started a whole firestorm, okay? So I really think that you need to compensate these families because they still poor, okay? Y'all get Netflix, you don't need the money like that. You got all kinds of money. You're giving people millions and millions of dollars to do comedy series or do a stand-up or whatever. You can compensate them families, for the success of this movie based off the trauma of people in Milwaukee. What y'all think? Because that's where I'm at with it. That's where I'm at with it. The whole city of Milwaukee was insulted by Jeffrey Dahmer and the Milwaukee Police Department who went on to become uh, heads of police unions, Balter Zach. Oh, Lord, we had some good ones, y'all. I'm telling you, we had some real good ones. I can't even think of dude's name right now. His son, the one before Balter Zach. Well, that's the reason why they got him off was because when Frank Jude was doing all that, his ass came down to where they was killing, beating the fuck out of Frank, oops, beating Frank Jude's butt. The head of what is this dude's name, guys? Getting old for ain't, ain't no punks, y'all. I'm just trying to tell you because you can't remember nothing. He's he was so crazy. He before they put Bartizak in there, this guy was forging city of, of Milwaukee uh, 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 officials uh, names on documents on loans and stuff. His son was out here shooting and uh, shot a, a guy in the wheelchair at a bar because he was drunk. Nothing happened. When those officers beat Frank Jude, he went down there. You would think that as the police union man, he would have stopped the mayhem. No, he tried to get a jump on everything. He was already getting down and telling the guys how they're going to get their story straight. He was on evidence, you know, just contaminating stuff. He shouldn't have even been there. Listen, y'all just don't know how the PTSD has was unleashed on us just from 
And because one case leads to another. We had just settled down from Jeffrey Dahmer. And we ain't settled down from him. Let me stop that lie. We just got a little bit to get past it. And then here come Frank Jude, which was one of the most egregious uh, with the police and the police union. These people are insane. And all I'm saying is, I don't care about Democrat, 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 Republican, Republican, Republican. Y'all know the difference between right from wrong. Every last one of y'all, unless y'all are aberration. Even Jeffrey Dahmer knew right from wrong. That's why he was hiding that shit. A roach, when you get ready to smack it, he know how to run. Because he don't want that pain. He don't want it. But y'all constantly inflicting pain upon other people with your insubordination with your lack of concern and your total disrespect for a whole community. And it's not just the police. Now look at Netflix. They're doing the same thing. Y'all out here, the makers of these costumes, constantly disrespecting us. And I just want you to know I'm one person that don't appreciate it. If don't nobody else tell you and speak up to it, I want you to know that I think it's BS. It's crock. It is capitalism at its fucking finest. It's at its worst, rather. That's the worst of it. For a dollar, you would do this to people. Okay. I'm done with my rant, but I mean every word. I want to know what y'all think. If you like what you hear, please subscribe to the channel. Join the channel. Subscribe, like, share the video. Share the video. Because I'm sure more stories in your city are going to come out about just how insubordinate your police department is when it comes to black and brown communities and poor white. I don't give a damn about y'all either. See you in the next video.